Oh, I'm already soft. No, don't do this to me, Meg Chan. Hello friends and welcome back to part three of my reaction to Stray Kids' latest album, Five Star, where I'm going to be reacting to the final four songs on the album, which are FNF, Beautiful, The Sound, Korean version, and then Time Out, because I have not heard or seen the music video yet for Time Out. I will also, at the end, be unboxing this, the pre-order limited version of the album, where I think I might get an extra photo card, extra something, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll find out when I open it. I never like to see what's in it. I kind of, when I go to buy it, see which has the most photo cards, which has a poster, and that's the one that I go for. And then don't look at the contents again, because I like to be surprised. But anyways. <laughs> Let's get to the video. So we have two unveil tracks here for this last four set of songs. The first one being FNF, where we only have a 30 second clip here, which is interesting. I think this is the shortest clip so far, but we're starting out with this Bang Chan still and my heart is already melting. <laughs> so is the song maybe gonna be a bit more upbeat, a little bit more wholesome? And what does FNF stand for? I don't even know. Oh my gosh, I just thought of Finding Nemo, like friends, not food, which you know, as much as two members are Australian and Finding Nemo is set in Australia, I don't, I don't think that's it. Fun fact. I went as a Darla for Halloween one year. It was a hit in my office. Okay, getting off subject. Let's just watch <laughs> and find out. Oh no, oh, I'm already soft. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like the view. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. <laughs> but they look so precious. And who wrote this one? Oh, Bang Chan and Felix. <laughs> Maybe it is about friends, not food. Okay, I need to stop and just <laughs> listen to the song. Let's listen to F and F. Mm. Oh my gosh ashes up in the sky. Right now where I am, there's like a whole bunch of wildfires going on. Not anywhere close to me, but close enough that, you know, a lot of smoke has been blowing into the city and making the air quality really bad. But literally all across Canada, there are wildfires going on. There are ones in Nova Scotia, in New Brunswick, in Quebec, here in Ontario. There are some in BC and Alberta, like they're everywhere. Climate change is scary. So yeah, like, whew, this just hit me like poof, right in the feels because this is like so prevalent for so many Canadians right now. Oh. Oh. His vocals always give me goosebumps. <laughs> hmm. So this is Felix and Bang Chan. There were some, I remember there being like, fires in Australia recently. Oh 
Even though this is like upbeat and catchy, there's still like a feeling of sadness to it. I feel like I'm sad dancing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so on the album introduction, we, Bang Chan, and Felix wrote this song about the feelings of sadness, regret, and longing that we felt when we saw so many animals and plants. Oh, oh no. Animals and plants lose their lives during the big bush, okay, big bush fires in our home country, Australia, a few years ago, and compared it to the feeling of losing someone you care about. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. I've had friends and colleagues who've been in these different areas across the country in the thick of these wildfires. And, you know, for example, like leaving your house, sometimes you have to evacuate in minutes and people like leave their pets behind. And it can be such a scary thing of, you know, is my house gonna burn down? Is my pet gonna be okay? Or like my colleague who lives in New Brunswick and the fires that were going on, he had to evacuate from his house. That was a house that had been in their family for three generations and it had so much meaning to them. So it's one of those things where it could just like be gone just like that. And sometimes like losing a pet can feel like losing a family member. Like the fauna and flora that surrounded me, even if I become dust, I really want you back. <laughs> And I can feel the rage burning up inside my heart knowing you're no longer here. I can't stop thinking about what I could have done, but till this day I live in fear of your survival instincts just kick in. If you have to leave, you just have to leave. And there could be sometimes, like I imagine if people lost their pets or that sort of thing, you have a moment of regret of, you know, I could have taken an extra 10 seconds to just grab my pet and you know that could have saved so much heartache but you know you never know what could happen when you you know take those extra steps in this life or death kind of situation so like I understand people blaming themselves when these types of things happen but it's just like you're trying to survive and this line of I know that deep in my heart I'll carry all the pain like not Felix. <laughs> Felix is sunshine. He can't be in pain. It's not allowed. But yeah, this was very much a like crying in the club song. Of It was very catchy and upbeat, but you know, heartbreaking at the same time. But all right, let's listen to our next song now, which is Beautiful, written by Bang Chan and composed by Bang Chan. And with a song like Beautiful, oh no. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be heartbreaking in a whole different way of... Is Bang Chan just gonna be incredibly sweet and lovely? I don't know if I can like <laughs> handle the emotional whiplash if that's the case. But this is a whole minute and five seconds rather than 30 seconds. So let's watch this unveil track. Mm. No. 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 Oh no, no, no. What? Is this English too? No. No! Don't do this to me, Bang Chan. Uh. Oh my gosh, I'm already about to cry. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid to listen to the, the whole song. I have to say, I love this animation. It's beautiful. And hey, this one kind of looks like me. <laughs> this is so pretty. I would love to see a full version of this. I don't know if they will, but it's so cute. Ugh, but okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's listen to the full version of this. And I cannot make any promises about my emotional state during the song. <sighs> okay, deep breath. <laughs> okay, let's listen. Oh, and this instrumental is so pretty. Those pianos and the guitars. Looking at yourself A lot goes in your mind I don't know if I'm ready to show myself hmm. You worry day and night Look at the stars fall An interesting choice to make this English Beneath the sky goodbye Must be an oracle Like a waterfall They Ooh. shower you with love tonight Cause you Oh no! <laughs> Not Lino. You're perfect in my eyes. Uh, so pretty. Doubt yourself. I know the feeling too. I'm being uh. sad at dark. I've never been so empty, hopeless. But no, it isn't true. Cause know that all the stars are by your side. You no. know, whenever there's a chance, I'll tell you that you're amazing uh. as you are. Cause when you get me. They are too precious for this earth. Like so many green flags all around. Mm. And I love this sentiment of beautiful, of like, you are beautiful the way you are. Like, your beauty is in being yourself and that's where it stems from and not you know necessarily like an outer beauty so that is just like oh, so clever and touching let me tell a little story mm. about the start i couldn't shine oh please out of a million billion felt like an alien alien and the latest i was strong Going to become the biggest thing Making a fantasy Family Aww. Beautiful galaxy Galaxy Oh no, not so man Oh my gosh More than beautiful one of a kind I swear, Lido and Singman's vocals Just Every time Whenever there's a chance I'll tell you that you're How are they the way that they are? They are just unreal. Absolutely unreal. I'm actually surprised <laughs> that I didn't cry. And it kind of feels like right for this to be the final new song of the album. Because it's just like such a nice and touching way to close this out because it started <laughs> with such intensity and just like talking about how they're the best and they bring it every time but then end off with it like no you're the best <laughs> and it feels like they're talking directly to stays here and telling people to love themselves for who they are and it is that self-love that makes you beautiful and I definitely understand that feeling of you know not being able to love yourself and you know constantly seeing yourself for your flaws rather than what it is that you bring to the world and sometimes you can't even see at all what it is that you bring to the world if you really have that like low low 
self-esteem especially as i you know got into my coaching training and my emotional intelligence training i just learned the power of vulnerability and of letting people see you as you are so i started opening up about my experiences with anxiety i started talking to people about my adhd which are you know two things about myself that i always thought were just like fatal flaws of just like i am a broken human being and just thinking there was something wrong with me but the more i would talk about it and share my experiences and be open with people I could not believe how many people were going through the same things of, you know, so many of my friends <laughs> have ADHD. I guess like is drawn to like. It's just like moths to a flame. We just find each other. <laughs> and, you know, these are just things that make me me. And it's okay. And it's actually something to, you know, celebrate because nobody's perfect. And let's be honest, like people who seem perfect seem boring. <laughs> this line, I don't know if I'm ready to show myself, like, ugh, like hits me really right to my core because that was me once upon a time and like you're perfect in my eyes don't ever doubt yourself it can be so easy when you don't believe in yourself to hold yourself back from you know achieving things or putting yourself out there because sometimes if you don't believe you can do it you don't even try and then like i said before it's the power of vulnerability here of changbin saying i know that feeling too i've been inside the dark i've never been so empty or hopeless you know these incredibly successful k-pop artists feel the same things that all of us do and it's almost like if i'm feeling this like <laughs> it's okay for you to feel this way so it's very like comforting in that way <laughs> and this is so sweet but no it isn't true because know that all the stars are by your side it's like the five stars you know it's almost like their amazingness <laughs> that they've been talking about this whole album is like watching over us and protecting us which is you know very touching and whenever there's a chance i'll tell you that you are amazing as you are like find a suitman <laughs> in your life someone who will tell you how amazing you are every day so don't settle <laughs> out there don't settle because there are people like that out there but i think my favorite line of the whole song is you're a miracle you are beautiful like protect these men at all costs please nothing bad can ever happen to them ever i will never allow it and then in the album introduction it says under the theme of you are beautiful as you are it's a song that contains words that we would like to say to our stay the song is warm and comforting with emotional piano soaring guitar and vocals and we wanted to share the beautiful words we usually hear from from stay oh that's so sweet so it's kind of like the things that we hear that you say to us we want to say back to you because you should be saying it to yourself oh i love that they're doing that because sometimes our inner voice can just be so mean to ourselves and we say things to ourselves that we would never say to somebody that we love so it's almost like what would you say to somebody that you love and say it to yourself because you deserve it but okay let's now move on to the sound korean version if you would like to see my reaction to the sound music video i will link that right here so yeah i'm sure like with the usual <laughs> of changing the lyrics of a song to another language it's gonna sound real jarring at first and it's kind of like whatever song that you hear first is the one that you get used to and then you hear a song in another language and you're just like so let's listen to the sound Okay, this doesn't sound jarring so far. Because <laughs> I mean, I guess a lot of it was in English, anyways. What? They changed this as the sound? What? Hold on. This is our concert hall. Why am I so confused? <laughs> this is this uh, this what? Hold on. Are much up. I mean, okay. <laughs> 
It's interesting that they changed the name of the title because they said that in English in the Japanese version. Oh well. <laughs> I'm going along with it. I feel like this is the least drawing version of like when you change a song to another language. Like it doesn't sound that like different. <laughs> I still don't know how I feel though about changing this is the sound. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, am I out of line for that? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I still think I just like the sound, like the Japanese version better. Like, I still just want to say this sound. I'm puzzled <laughs> and I don't know why it's bothering me so much <laughs> but I know a lot of the times that the lyrics for the songs will be written in Korean first and then changed to English or Japanese so you know maybe those were the original lyrics and then when they translated them to Japanese just decided to keep the English. I don't know <laughs> if that makes sense. But anyways, let's now go to the final song of the album, which is Time Out. And even though the song came out last year, I haven't heard it before and I haven't seen the music video before, but I'm already getting a very cozy and summery vacation-y <laughs> type of vibe from this because you know you take time out from your busy schedule to relax and enjoy the presence of your favorite people so let's watch the time out music video <laughs> they just bored <laughs> So this is gonna pick up the the vibes. <laughs> oh nice. It's gonna feel like a real like summer beach song. <laughs> oh my gosh, this feels kinda like an outer living song, you know. <laughs> this is so wholesome. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, this makes me want to go vacation with my friends. <laughs> I love vlogging you now. This is so fun. <laughs> Oh. 
<gasps> oh my gosh, okay. I think I've seen a clip from this before. Of Lino you know, with the shaker and the blows up. I've seen that on Instagram. I didn't know it was from this <laughs> video though. Or maybe it was like behind the scenes. <laughs> I love his raspy vocals so much. I guess I'm smiling like my face hurts. <laughs> uh, I can't handle the wholesomeness though. <laughs> oh, that was a bad snake. <laughs> I wonder where they found this. <laughs> oh, I can't with Bang Chan and the guitar. <laughs> so cute. Oh, the dog. Yes. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> you look like you just like, disassociated. <laughs> he took his eyes off the ball. <laughs> oh my god, I can't handle how awesome this is. <laughs> oh, that was so precious. But the song really was like such a vibe of, you know, throwing away your worries, of just like taking time to take a break, relax, have fun, in like a healthy way, <laughs> not like some of the previous songs on the album. You know, like breathe in the clean air, breathe in twice as much as the sigh I let out, leave regrets in the past, like, this is all such good advice. <laughs> Drive past the toll gate and stop by the rest area. Buy everything you want. Uh, don't mind if I do. This just sounds so nice. Let the stress fly away. Don't worry about tomorrow. Doesn't that sound nice? Unfortunately, my brain is not capable of that kind of thing, but I admire them for it. But okay, we gotta do lean out with the shaker one more time. <laughs> Oh, gets me every time. You know that just like one video that you could watch over and over again and just like never get tired of it and like it'll make you laugh every time. This is one of them. Also the one of Eric Nam speaking in English in front of Tom Holland. And Tom Holland's like, how do you speak such good English? And Eric Nam's like, uh, I'm American. And just the sound he makes. Oh, oh. gets me every time. If there's a meme that makes you laugh every single time, Tell me what yours is. So, wow, holy cow, holy guacamole schmoly. This was quite the album, and it's hard to say what exactly my favorite song is because there's so many new and great songs on this, but, you know, I think that Top Line is my favorite. Maybe Hall of Fame would be number two. I don't know. I think it's one of those things where I just have to listen to it several times. Like I listened to that first four chunk of songs <laughs> a lot in the last week, but I would have to let these new ones, you know, absorb. But I would love to know what your favorite song on this album is, if you have one, or if you just, <laughs> every song is your favorite song. I would love to chat with you, so let me know down in the comments. But first, before we wrap up, I am going to be unboxing the limited version of the album right here. And it's funny because I ordered this from Light Up K, which is a Canadian online retailer. They have some brick and mortar stores as well uh, in Toronto and in Montreal. But I ordered this online and it was 50 bucks for free shipping. So this wasn't quite $50. So I was just like, 
guess I'll just have to order another album. So I ordered Attica from Seventeen. <laughs> but that is for another video. Twelve seconds later. All right, I've removed the plastic film on this and we're gonna open it together. I'm always scared to open these because I feel like a zillion things always fly out. So first on top we have, looks like the lyric book. So let's take a look at this quickly. Stray Kids, the third album. Oh, interesting. It's like a little mini photo book. So I opened it up and right here was a bang chan. Oh my goodness, these are such nice photos. Look at Lino, like stunning. Uh, Changbin, you have no right, no right to look this good. Uh, Oh my gosh. It took a second for me to realize who that was. We have Hyunjin, but then doesn't Han look different in this? Ooh, oh my gosh. So elegant. I love the bangs. Hmm. Soon man looking mysterious. Oof. He always just looks like a model <laughs> every time. So interesting. Little kind of bonus photo book. Okay, and then I think we have a poster here. Open this up. Oh, oh wow, this is a big one. They've, <laughs> this makes me think of like a 90s poster from like a boy band album or something like that. Cause it kind of gives that collage-y feel to it. Cause each of them show up, I think on this three times. And then there's all of the tracks on the kind of out of borders. So that's fun, I like it a lot. However, as you can see, I'm kind of out of room <laughs> on my wall. I might need to put it like down here if I were to put any more posters. Cause I already have two Stray Kids posters, the Maxident one and then the Ordinary one. Yeah, I'll have to troubleshoot later. <laughs> okay, so then it looks like we've got the photo book where I'm not gonna go through every single picture, but if there's any that stand out to me, I will point them out. But it starts out with all of the lyrics and <laughs> Literally the first picture is making me giggle of Bang Chan with his toy tiger. His little tiger plushie. Hoshi from Seventeen would be jealous. Hmm, but I really like the decor of these rooms that they have. I feel like a lot of times, sometimes you'll go through these photo books and you'll pay a lot of attention to the members and their visuals, but not necessarily as much to the kind of background or the setting when I'm sure there's a lot of effort that goes into that. So it's nice to see them take the time to, you know, take pictures of these different areas of the settings. But oh my gosh, these shoes, Sungmin's shoes, I would love to pull off <laughs> something like that. See, this is like so interesting to me. I'm really curious what they're trying to say with this setting. Oh, these pants and <laughs> the, the crop top action is kind of happening like in the fold of the book. Oh, <laughs> well, we got a full crop top photo here. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Lino and a hat. He just like always makes it work. But yeah, I really like all of the animal print in this. It gives them just like an extra edge, you know? Ooh, Felix with the crop top too. Yay, more freckles. <laughs> oh, why is this giving like Billie Eilish? They're just like, lime green <laughs> and the black. Ooh, I like the last photo in here. Them just giving fashion. I love it. We'll treasure this photo book. <laughs> okay, the, the last kind of elements of here. Oh, so, oh, okay. So there's another poster here. And what is this? Oh, oh my gosh, is this one person? Oh, it's a giant poster of Felix, what? I did not know that you were gonna get an individual poster of a member, oh my goodness. This is amazing. I feel like so many people would <laughs> like order this version of the album just to try to get the poster of their bias. So you know, smart marketing <laughs> by JYP there. Okay, and I think this folder, cause this was the last thing that I can see at least in here. I think this folder contains all the photo cards. Oh, and we've got, first of all, like a group photo here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's not a group photo. It's all Lino. He looks like very moody and edgy in all of these. Okay, and then we've got another. Huh. I'm trying to figure out what this is. It almost looks like it's like a preview of a set of photo cards, but as far as I can tell, there's just two in here. Okay, so then we also have some stickers and this kind of like comic booky manga-y 
print of all the members together. But all right, we have two photo cards here and I have not looked at them, so we will discover them together. Photo card number one, we have Felix again. <laughs> Aw, he looks very cute here. I'm trying to get it to, to focus. And he's got the freckles going here, which is nice. And then photo card number two. Oh, Lino. Oh my gosh. Okay. Lino and Bang Chan were the only pulls that I haven't gotten before in an album. And while I did get a complete set of photo cards of all eight members from one of the Nasific uh, skincare sets, I feel like that doesn't fully count. <laughs> so once I get a Bang Chan pull, I will be complete. I guess I'll just have to order more albums. <laughs> But yeah, so that was fun to do that unboxing. I hope you had fun with me. And I'm looking forward to my next Stray Kids video, which I don't know when that'll be. I still haven't finished Skiz Replay. And I also haven't listened to or reacted to No Easy yet. So I know I have to do those <laughs> at some point, but you know, I don't know when yet. If you really wanna see those reactions, let me know in the comments and it might, you know, get me off of my butt. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun with this reaction. I hope you're doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourself, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day.